Hey everyone, this is Lou at Lightpoint, and today I'm going to show you how to take a point cloud that's been colorized with photographs and give it that x-ray look. Okay, so this is the point cloud that we're going to be working with. This is a Genesis GV80 that was created using Leica's RTC360. These points are just colorized via photographs. And we're going to take this and give it that x-ray look. So the first way we're going to do that is with a program called Nubigon Pro. And this is a program that um, I found while searching around on the internet trying to find a method to create that x-ray uh, vibe. And it's far from free. It's $99 a month the way that we're currently paying for it. I think you can also uh, sign up for a perpetual license. I'll put that uh, in the notes. So here we're going to import that same point cloud. Our point clouds are in PTS format um, and Nubigon has the ability to import that. All right, so once you navigate to the point cloud, this dialog is going to pop up. The format of the light point exemplars is XYZ and then scalar RGB, and that's generally going to be true if you're working with Faro or Leica data. So we're going to click OK here, and then we're going to be presented with another dialog um, asking about the offset type. So this doesn't really matter if you're just bringing in one point cloud, but if you're going to bring in multiple point clouds and the coordinate system origin matters, then you can change it here. So we'll keep that as is, as origin. We will ask uh, Nubigon to compute the normals. That's going to be necessary for the x-ray vibe. Um, and it does that pretty darn quickly too. When you're working in Cloud Compare, if you ask Cloud Compare to generate the normals, it takes a few minutes. Um, this is a little bit quicker, but uh, still takes about a minute or so, I believe, to import here. We are going to remove duplicates, so any points that it deems as identical, it will remove uh, for us. All right, so the point cloud has been brought in. It's originally going to be displayed as uh, RGB. Everything's just going to be colorized with the photos. Um, so we have a little project tree over here. So when we select the Genesis point cloud, I'll just expand that out a little bit. Um, that 0.004 is my subsampling, by the way. So I have it subsampled a little bit. Uh, let me just go back to the top view. Uh, but once we click on this point cloud in the project tree, we get a few options. So under material attributes, if we go from the display to being surface to x-ray, then you'll start to see immediately um, some cool looks to uh, the presentation. So there's a few things that we can mess around with here. I'm not going to show all of this right now, um, but one of the big things is you can change the look of it based on the point color itself. So in other words, the seats are black, the car is white, so it's going to display accordingly. Or you can go off of the object color, and object there being the point cloud itself. So that's going to present as a single color, um, which actually looks really cool depending on what color you select. Um, so this is just white. That looks great. Uh, I kind of go with a futuristic look in blue, which looks beautiful as well. Um, so you can mess around with that and get the look that you're going for. This is really uh, useful when you're doing impact configuration or something like that. You want to make one car blue, one car red, one car green, whatever you're doing. Um, then you can go and get a little bit fancier and go into the elevation tool. So now it's looking at a reference plane at the bottom of the tires and changing the color based on the height from uh, that. So one thing I'm seeing here from the top-down view, predefined views, top-down, F5 is we are, you can see the wheels are tweaked a little bit, and that is because we're looking at it, uh, we're not looking at it orthographically. So let me just figure out how to get into the orthographic view. I think we click on camera here. Yeah, and then get to orthographic. Okay, so there you go. Now we're in the orthographic view. So going back into the x ray, um, you can go from uh, the elevation, uh, pr under the elevation menu, you get a few different color scale options. That's the default. Uh, you can add a little uh, more blue in there. You can go uh, with purple haze, which is just purple uh, to white. So there's a, a bunch of different looks you can get to it there. And this program does a really good job um, with those presentations. It looks, it looks beautiful and um, very easy to work with. So now I'll show you uh, how to accomplish this in MeshLab. So the Me MeshLab is free. It's freeware, similar to Cloud Compare, which is fantastic. 
Um, and it has the ability to generate similar graphics, but they're not quite as uh, polished as this. So the first step, the real trick to getting it to work in MeshLab is to save this point cloud as a PLY. And before even doing that, you have to compute the normals. So if you click on the point cloud here in the project tree and then go to uh, edit, normals, compute, that will start that process. And there's, there's not much to do once you're in there. Your local service model is going to be plain. And then I have found that generally speaking, the um, defaults work well. So that's going to take a couple minutes. I've already done that to save us a little time in the tutorial. Um, and then you're going to save as a PLY. And I'll just show you how to do that for those that aren't familiar with uh, saving out of Cloud Compare. All right, so the trick in Cloud Compare for saving anything really is to select the file type and then once you've named it accordingly, uh, I'll just do tutorial, um, type in the suffix .ply. That uh, seems to help a lot with uh, writing the file in the proper format. I think if you don't do that, it's just going to write it as a text file and not as a PLY file. So pretend I hit saved. We have that already. Um, now we're going to pull up MeshLab. So bringing it into MeshLab is easy. Once you have the PLY saved, you'll just drag it into uh, this screen, and this is what, what you'll get. MeshLab is really a tool that is meant for uh, dealing with meshes, of course, hence the name, um, but you can deal with point clouds. So if you go to Render here and then Shaders, then there's the xray.gdp down here. And it doesn't look great to begin with, but we can mess around with these sliders until we get it to have that look that we're, that we're going for. So same things going on here. You can get into an orthographic camera view to get those wheels so they're not looking tweaked there. So you can mess around with these and get that x-ray look to be kind of whatever you, however you want it to look intensity-wise. Uh, but I haven't found a way to make the colors really as beautiful as they come out in Nubigon. So that's one of the big reasons that I'm using Nubigon right now. Um, I also like the animation capabilities, so you can spin a point cloud around um, and create nice, nice graphics like that as well. So hope that helps you figure out the, uh, the X-Ray vibe. The other tool that is good for this is uh, a Leica tool that I'll talk about in a future tutorial and probably in a future email. So stay tuned for that one. We're messing around with one of their newer products that is uh, looking really promising and capable. So thanks for uh, checking it out. Hope that helps.